Good morning, children. Welcome to today's session. Today, we will learn about kite. We will learn a poem. So, all of you open your page number 14. High Flyer. What is the poem's name? High Flyer. It is written by Charles Gigna. Who has written this poem? Charles Gigna. So, Charles Gigna is also known as Father Goose. He is an American poet and written lots of poems and books. Okay? So, today we will learn his, one of his poem, High Flyer. Look here, children. I am reading. Just you listen carefully. I fly above the taller, tallest trees. I fly above the tallest trees. I am not a bird or plane. So, look here. We will know who is I here. So, it is flying above the tallest trees. It is neither a bird nor a plane. I have no wings or feathered things. So it has no wings nor feathered nor any feathers. I do not like the rain but it does not like the rain. So do you know children what it is? Yes, we are talking about a kite. So in this poem first stanza it is about a kite. We come to know that the poet is saying about a kite that it flies over the tallest trees. It is not a bird nor a plane. It doesn't have wings or any feather, feathers and it does not like rain. Next, I play among the passing clouds. It flies among the passing when the clouds are passing it flies it goes on flying i like to rise and sail it rises and it sails have you seen a kite it rises and it sails i am a friend who loves the wind and those children who loves the wind the kite is a friend why because the kite can sail very nicely during the wind I am big and have a tail. I am big and I also have a tail. Have you seen a kite having a tail children? Look here in this picture. This is a kite. And this way. This is their tail. Okay. So. It has. It pass along the passing. Clouds. And it rise and sail. And it is a friend of those who loves wind. And it is big and has a tail. I like the gusty month of March. It likes the windy month of March. Why children? Because the month of March is hot and windy also. There is no chance of rain during that time. So people generally fly kites during that season. I soar way out of sight. It flies. It flies and goes out of sight. It flies very high. My shape is like a diamond. Look here. Its shape is like a diamond. So I want to tell you children, kites are also, kites can be also made of different Shapes, but mostly generally people use the which shape diamond shape. I am a brand new kite, so it is talking about the new kite which is diamond in shape. So the poet is talking about a kite that it can fly above the tallest trees. It is not a plane nor a bird, it doesn't have wings and it doesn't like the rain. It neither uh, sorry, it neither likes the rain. Why? Because it will get wet. 
and we cannot fly it. So it pass around the, it passes along the clouds and like to rise and sail. And it is a friend of those who loves the wind. It is big and also has a tail. It likes the windy month of March and flies very high and moves out of sight. Its shape is diamond shape and it is a very new kite. Okay children. Now next one. Complete the sentences to find out what the poem is about. Okay. So let us do. First one. It flies about the tallest trees. But it's not. What it will be? But it's not. A bird. Or. Plane. Okay. First one. Second one. It has no wings. And does not like. What it does not like? The. Rain. Third one. It likes to play among dash and rise and sail in the air. It likes, sorry, it likes to play among what? The passing clouds. It goes on moving with the passing clouds. C L O U D S clouds. Now the next one. It loves the wind and has a, what does it has? It has a tail. Now next one, fifth one. It loves the windy month of, which month it loves? March. So right here, March. Sixth one. Its shape is like, which shape children? A diamond. Diamond shape. Now seventh one. The poet is talking about a kite. Okay. Now next one is answer the these questions. Let us do children. I will write only the uh, answer and you have to note the question from your textbook. Okay. Now, first one. Where does the kite fly? Where does the kite fly children? Write the answer. Answer these questions. First answer. Okay. First answer. Write the kite flies where does the kite fly the kite fly, sorry the kite flies up in the air next answer second one what does the kite not like why do you think it does not like it what does it not like children you can write just a word over there Rain. Why? Because it gets wet. It gets it gets wet and weighs and its weight become more weighs more and what happens and doesn't. And doesn't move, isn't it? Doesn't what? Black. Third one. What does the kite have? What does it not have? So, what does the kite have? It has a and what does it doesn't have? 
so it doesn't have it doesn't has wings next one why does the poet refer to the month of march as gusty why should i because that time what happened temperature is high along with warm air so you write temperature is high along with warm air okay children so this question answers questions note down from the textbook and write the answers and you have to write the answers in your notebook okay so look here these are the answers note it down the next one look there children describe what the kite does in the air you know what does the kite does the kite the kites what does it do it flies isn't it and it passes among the passing clouds so you have different ideas related with kites children an activity is there now you are sitting at home you have to make a kite you have to make a diamond shaped kite yourself okay and when you are flying the kite see that you never stand in a terrace and fly because if the terrace doesn't have a boundary you may get hurt or you may fall down so never fly a kite on a terrace okay so children always you have to stand on the ground and fly a kite never stand on the terrace and fly a kite because there will if there is no boundary on a terrace then it is dangerous for you and you all are small children when you fly a kite always try to fly a kite along with your parents or in the presence of your parents so an activity is there that make a small kite not a big one i am saying a small kite of yourself at home okay using using not the new things all the all things whatever is or any waste material you can use at prepare a kite so next one some rhyming words from the poem add two words to each set you all know that some rhyming words are given you all know what are rhyming words which end with the same sound so plain rain any other two words you can give yes plain game second one sail tail yes pain main third one sight kite yes fight right these all are rhyming words okay now come to the last portion f fun time rest no need to do come to the last portion fun time what are the names of these things some questions are given you have to say what it is first one a toy that spins a toy that spins on its own what is it top p o p second one something is spread on your bed 
something you spread on your bed. What do you spread, children? You can write bed sheet. Bed sheet. You spread it. Next one. A round object that you bounce up and down. What it is? Ball. B A W L ball. Now next one. Something you wear on your head. Sometimes you wear it. What is it? Cap. Next one. Something on which you put your birthday candles. Where you put your birthday candles on what? Yes, cake. See, hey? Cake. Something that has stories in it. What do you read? Where do you read story, Chinna? Story books. Okay, this much is there. Now, all of you turn your page. We will start with a new lesson which has two parts. So, this is lesson two. Sona's Adventures 1. Sona's Adventures One. So children, you have already learned a poem, High Flyer, it's all about a kite. And in that you have got an activity, what is that activity with your waste things at home? You can prepare a small kite, diamond shaped kite which has a tail. Okay, now all of you open page number 16. Page number 16, can you name the animals in these pictures? You can see some pictures over there and... You have to see which animals pictures are there. Numbers are already given here. You have to fill this. You have to do it as homework yourself. Okay. So today we are going to learn Sona's Adventures Part 1. Two adventures are there children. Part 1 and Part 2. Part 2 you will learn in the next chapter. Okay. Now Sona is hopeful that he will make some new friends. But when he sets out to explore his new neighborhood, he gets an unpleasant shock here. Sona is a camel. Sona is a camel. So let us see how he is trying to find his new neighborhood and how he gets unpleasant, not pleasant shock. Okay, an unpleasant shock. Section 1. A mother camel and her young son, Sona, were slowly walking along in the desert. So, where does the camel live in a... Where do you find camels in in a desert? Desert area, isn't it? A mother camel with her young son was walking. And what was the name of the son? Sona. The, they were walking along in a in the desert. It was a very hot day. And what type of a day? Very hot. The burning yellow sand shone in the bright sun. The sun was shining very hot. And the sand was also... Hot, shown yellow color. Suddenly, Sona stopped and dug his feet into the sand. Full of sand here and there. So, Sona started digging. digging. What does, did, why did it dug? To get water. I won't go any further, he grumbled. So, he said, I will not go any further. I am very thirsty. I am feeling very thirsty. I need water. His mother looked down at him and said, so his mother saw him dugging and he and she said, I know you must be thirsty my dear. I know you are thirsty but it won't be for long. But you will not feel thirsty for much long time. Water is near. There is water here. Look, she stretched her long neck towards a line of trees some distance away because she showed him that what did she show? That there were many trees. Okay, there were many trees some distance away. You see those trees there and said, look at those trees there. In deserts where there are trees, there is water. So in deserts where there are trees, children, there is water. There might even be a village. So where there are trees, there is water. So nearby there may be villages. Anyway, there will be other animals and you can play with them. So, mother told whom Sona that there are 
many other animals also if there are there is a village you can find many other animals and you could play with them come now how lovely said sona and began walking fast she was very happy and sona started sorry he was very happy and sona started what walking fast soon they reached the trees very soon they reached the trees his mother lifted her head and sniffed she sniffed come this way she said turning left and took her to the took him to the left side i smell water quite near i can smell the water surrounded by tall trees and thick bushes they found a pool of clear cool water they found their water a pool of clear and cool water lowering their heads by lowering their head they drank deeply they started drinking a crow sitting on a tree nearby watched them a crow was watching them what a lot of water you drink he burst out on the page when sona and his mother finally finished so they were drinking lot of water and the crow what did it say that you drink so you drink lot of water you drink more than any other animal i have ever seen the crow is saying you drink more than any other animal you drink lot of water i'm sure continued the crow shaking his head shaking his head the crow was saying shaking his head from side to side it was saying you could drink the pool dry you can even drink you are drinking lot of water you will make the pool also dry that much water you are drinking not any other sort drinking this much water okay children for today this much part meet you in my next class with your next section 2 till then read the chapter section 1 three times and after reading it three times signed by your parents okay we will do the next session in the next class till then thank you have a nice day